Wait, he's like at the tippity top? My day starts at 5.30, I open the gate, trudge into the crane, climb up. It usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes depending on what I got in my backpack or, or whatever supplies, lunch. The tower is 250 feet up and the boom is 230 feet out. First thing we do is energize the crane, check the limit switches, check the load cells, make sure it's swinging all right, make sure nothing froze up, just make sure the crane is safe and ready to go for a work day. It's never the same every day. We might start pouring concrete. Uh, we might strip gang forms. Started one of my first job when I was 15 years old, setting wooden trusses. Uh, my father had a crane rental company in Summers, Connecticut. When all my friends were going working on tobacco, I was working on cranes. Heights have never bothered me. Uh, maybe it's because I have a little Indian blood in me. You can see a long way. You can see all the way to Massachusetts, Springfield, Mass. You can see it very clearly. I like to swing around in the morning and wait for the sun to come up. I mean, that's my highlight of the day, just watching the sunrise. I love that. And we can work in just about everything. It's all radio control. Uh, the only thing that really shuts us down is the wind and the ice. Like a big tree, if you look at it in the wind, it's moving. The heavier the load, the more it'll twist and flex and flex back. And it's almost like, what do you call it, little bobbleheads on your dashboard. The hospital's gotta be about 180 feet. When you get your head above that hospital, it's a whole new world. The wind's blowing every day. When there's nothing down here, we still got a breeze up there. It's the best time of my life. It just gets in your blood, just like a sailor in his boat. I just love cranes. I can't see myself doing anything else. <laughs>